Hare Krishna. This is Sankarshan Das speaking to you from Iskan Pune, India. Now is a very, very special time of the day. It's time for Japa. Japa means chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Again and again and again around the prayer beads. The beads have 108 beads for chanting and one bead to mark the end. So devotees go at least 16 times around the beads. That's 1,728 repetitions every day of Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Not just something mechanical, actually we're calling out, my dear Krishna, my dear Radharani, please bless me, I can be fully engaged in your loving service. Please bless me, I mean that mood of serving you and loving you with all of my heart. Completely, totally dedicated to you in all times, all places and all circumstances. We're just begging, begging, begging we can be in that mood of devotion because that's the perfection of our consciousness. See, originally we're all devotees of Krishna from the spiritual world, but by misuse of our independence we've gotten caught here in the cycle of birth and death. So this chanting of Hare Krishna is bringing us back to who we actually are. You see, we're suffering from amnesia right now, misidentifying, I am male, I am female, I am American, I am Indian. It's this amnesia. So this is the psychological process of bringing us out of the amnesia, back to our actual spiritual identities. So we encourage everyone to chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, with love and devotion every day, and by doing it, you'll be deep sea diving in an ocean of unlimited bliss. Ever increasingly nectarian ecstasy will be your life. The time of death, when you leave this body, you immediately regain your visual identity in the spiritual world. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hare Krishna.